Hey everyone, um, it's like the second or third time I've tried uh, doing a video. I'm having trouble with YouTube and I don't know, it's early in the morning and I haven't had enough coffee. Ah, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse coffee mug. Trying to get caffeinated up and ready for the day. Um, got two packages yesterday. One, the guy's like, you know, we're looking for freaking post office. Pissing me off. So I order, or I buy two tickets for the avalanche. So I can take my fiance, because she's a big hockey fan. I bought them last week. And the game is tomorrow, on Friday. And it showed that delivered on, like, Thursday, last Thursday. I never got them. So Friday I went down and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, well, we have a new handler, Dala. It's forwarded to your forwarding address. So I call my fiance. I'm like, do we have a forwarding address? She's like, nope. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, well, where'd you forward it to? They're like, well, the forwarding address. I'm like, well, what's that? And they're like, well, we don't know. Okay. So... We're still trying to find those tickets. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Um, so yeah, I saw the mailman last night. I guess he was sick or something last week, so he didn't know anything about it. We told him, he we said he'll look for him, but he's like, oh yeah, there's a package from California. Like, yes, for Mark. Awesome. So Mark had sent me all the cards I sent him to get graded while I was in Korea. So I'd buy stuff on eBay. And then I'd just ship it directly to him. And then I'd pay him through PayPal. And he'd send it to PSA for me. So he did that for 10 months. So I owe Mark a lot. Because he helped me out a lot. And when I show you the cards he got graded, you'll see why. Um, but the mailman left. And then he knocked on the door. And he's like, well, I have another package for you. I don't think it's your tickets because it's from Canada. And what I get in Canada is this 1963 Salada Chunkit Roger Maris PSA 8. Got this for very cheap. Less than 50% of what everyone else was asking for. And this is for his master set. And this helped out my GPA. Um, my GPA is very low but if you see the cards that I have they're very rare, and a lot of them are low-graded, and I'll show you some of them. So here are my favorite cards that I got out of marked package. Uh, 1962, Venezuela Tops, Roger Maris, PSA 1. Now you know why my GPA is so low. Mm, some glue took off the back, but I got it for a decent price. I got it for probably 30% of what everyone else is asking for. There's some guy down in Florida, I buy a lot of cards from him, but he had a 62 Maris Venezuela, and he wanted $200 for a PSA 1. He'd, it's been on there for years. I looked around and found that, got it graded myself. 1962, uh, Life Magazine Post, whatever. Uh, panel. It's Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle. Again, somebody else, the guy with the number one Maris set, he tried selling me the same thing. PSA 3. This one's a PSA 2. Sorry. Um, tried selling it to me for like 150 which sadly is actually a good price. I found this for 40 bucks on auction. So, I bought that. It didn't come out as good as I wanted, but I re like everyone else wants between one and two hundred dollars for them because Mickey Mail's on it. So I got a good deal. This one never thought I'd find. 1958, 61 J Publishing, Type One Portrait to Neck. It's in his Kansas City A's uniform. There are only five, I think, of these graded. Uh, pop on this one, PSA 4, there's two, oops, sorry, and then 
there's one PSA 6. So I'm happy with that. And I saw one, I think it was the PSA 4. You guy wanted like $200, 250 something like that. And I paid a lot less than that. So thank God I found out how to send cards in the PSA. And thank God for people like Mark for helping me out. Got these other cards. Some of them are for my set. Some of them I bought on a whim. This one I bought on a whim. It was a 1970 Bart Star. I love football in the 60s and 70s and Hall of Famers. So if I can find a good deal on them, I will. Found this ungraded for 4.99. I figured I'd give it a shot. And came back a seven. Hoping for an eight, but I actually look at it now and I'm actually surprised it got a seven. Because if I graded it with some of these corners, I probably would have given it a six between the centering and and the centering's not bad. It's just a little bit more left than right. Whatever. Another Hall of Famer. 1972 John Riggins. Got this one for 99 cents. And again, I look at him, and I'm like, hey, for 99 cents, looks pretty good. Came back in eight, happy with that. This one I needed to do for my 79 uh, Bronco set. Could find every other card, nine and 10. This one I couldn't find created at all. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, couldn't find it. So, 1979, Randy Grashar came back in eight. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's yeah, looks good in my set. I'm always looking to upgrade, but to this day, I still I don't know what it is. I cannot find this card graded at all. I mean, ever since I started putting the set together back when I was in Alaska, like two years ago, I still have not found this graded. If I can find it in a 9 or a 10, I'll buy it probably. It just looks weird. 10, 9, 9, 9 in my whole set. And then you have that one, 8. This one is another one I needed for my John Mackey set. I showed you guys, I think, my Mackey set. Um, this was the only one missing. It's a Snelco Stamps. There's five of these graded, I think. Every other one is a... PSA 9, this one's a 5. I wish I had actually looked at it better. There's the bottom right corner. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bent. Well, I'm not worried about anyone catching me up on that set. So they're catching up with me. So, oh well. And there's a couple other ones I had created that I might sell or something. Yeah. Uh, 71 John Mackey got this one for 99 cents I didn't even think about looking up and down I was looking at the corners I didn't even look at the up and down so one of the borders so, came back 8 OC which at the time I'm like whatever it'll I mean, it looked good in my set somewhat it completed my set but uh, I went ahead and went on four sharp corners when they had a sale and bought it PSA 8 so, I might sell that if I can. Not that many people buy OC, but if you know anything about the 71 set, those are hard to find. Uh, high grades. There's only one higher than a PSA 8 on the John Mackey. So. And a couple of foreign ones. Uh, I had trouble finding this one, John Mackey. There were only two PSA 9s. And I don't even, I think there were only like four total graded. So I figured my best shot was to buy the panel, have Mark cut them out, and then send them into PSA. And he did that. Appreciate that. It was like two or three days after Mark sent in the package. Or actually, it wasn't even that. Before that. After I bought the card, it was getting sent to Mark. PSA 9 popped up on John Mackey individual or single so I went in and bought that and then had Mark send it in anyway just to see what happened 
came back to PSA 7. I don't know. I mean, it's still a good looking card. Probably throw that on eBay, see if anyone wants it. And then the rest of the cards from 4 and 1s all came back 7s. So I might throw some of them on eBay and some of them might end up in somebody's care package. Who could it be? I wonder. Uh, yeah, and then put a post about it on Facebook yesterday. I had come back and started looking through my cards and I had cards that were created by Jim Mint Creating Company. And they're out of business now. They pretty much were fraudulent creating company. And I'd bought cards from them years ago before I really knew. I mean, I was still a teenager, I think, and didn't know much about creating. And so I bought them. And then I sent them into PSA and get them cross graded. The only one that came back graded was my 72. Or, yeah, it was 72. Nolan Ryan. And it was created a 9 from the grading company, and it came back a 6, I think. Every other one came back trimmed. Every single one. I think there were 5 of them. And I looked at, the, I looked at them last week. One of them was a 60, Roger Maris All-Star, PSA 10, or, I'm sorry, not PSA, Jim and 10. I got one card and looked over. I'm like, that's trimmed. No, there was no doubt. I just grabbed one card, looked at it, and it was trimmed all along the side. I looked at the Pete Rose, and that one looked fine to me. And a 19, what was it, my Hawaii Tittle? 64, I think it was. Hawaii Tittle. Yeah, 64 Hawaii Tittle. I looked at both of them, they looked trim to me, so I thought about breaking it open. And I tried using a knife, breaking it, didn't work, scissors obviously, I'm not going to break it. Because those cases are actually tougher than PSA, at least the old PSA cases, I don't know about the new ones, I don't have too many new ones. And so I went to Lowe's and bought a wire cutter, busting them right open. First one I broke open was the white tittle. I looked at it, got other cards, put them on top of it. It's not trimmed. I don't know why they would say it. Now it's not going to get created a nine or a ten at all. Probably a seven, maybe an eight. No, I won't get an eight because that top little nick on the top center. But still, it's a nice card. Good player, Hall of Famer. So I'm gonna get that. Graded by PSA. It's not trimmed. 69 Pete Rose trimmed along this side. I mean, yeah, I was not happy about that one. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I really don't care. So, whatever. Oh well. But we'll see what they say about the Hawaii title. I sent in my 15 free grades. I sent in eleven. What was it? I sent eleven Venezuela cards for the sixty-two set, and then four Roger Maris's. I had three Mickey Mantles I bought when I was in Alaska. So sixty-three tops, a sixty-six OPG, and a sixty-seven tops. I wanted to send those in on my free submissions. Problem is, I had no idea where I put them. i have been gone for a year. I have baseball cards all over the place. So I looked all through my parents' basement in the in my old bedroom where they kept my cards. Nothing. Couldn't find my Mickey Mantles. And then they had a storage bin or a storage compartment, whatever, out in town. So I went out there and dug through there. Nothing. Found other football and baseball cards that I forgot I had. No Mickey Mantles. I didn't want to get any crap. But I knew I'd find them somewhere. So I went ahead and sent in the Venezuela cards and the Roger Maris instead of the Mickey Mantles. Two hours after I sent in the cards, I came back from the post office at the apartment. 
And I started putting my baseball cards in a little bin my fiance had. And I opened it up and there are sitting three Mickey Mantles. Okay. So I was on PSA's website and they had the special number three. It was any number of cards great or valued two fifty or less for ten dollars. Twenty day turnaround. Alright. So ten dollars a card for a Mickey Mantle. I'll do it. Especially that sixty three. No, they're not going great. Get great at anything nice. Probably fives or sorry, threes and fours, but they're Mickey Mantles. I want them graded. So I'll get those back in 20 business days. So you know, three months. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'm putting this package together for PSA, I'm sending in all my Broncos cards and uh, Nolan Ryan's. Sending in like 25 or 30 Nolan Ryans. So hopefully that'll bump up my set. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, hope you have a good one. Bye.